So this is Juliet Naked. Uh, it looks like a romantic comedy about... Um, we're doing pretty good. It's just uh, we're 9 o'clock here wrapping things up, but we're watching, uh, watching some trailers for what's coming out next week. Doesn't work for lots of people, but legitimate fighters like her and Brock, it kind of works. Well, I think she's just so big that whatever she decided to do, she was going to have people follow her there. Yeah. Like, she's loved, yeah. you know. And Brock is a monster, too. I feel like it's not really fair to compare them. Because, like, he, I'm pretty sure he eats concrete in a cereal. Like, he's just an angry person. Like, <laughs> I don't I don't feel like he's putting on an act, but... Uh, Rhonda always feels like she's trying too hard to come across as tough. But I think she's she's got a ton of insecurities mentally. Mm -hmm. And, like, not, like, picking on her, but, like, that's why she fell apart in the UFC. Because she yeah. couldn't handle loss. I think it's kind of a catch-22 because I think part of the reason she tries to put on more of a front or, like, look tough, even though, even though she is tough, she's proven that she's tough, she gets undercut because she's a woman. Yeah. And so she feels the need to, like, over-project. Yeah. And then people are hypercritical of that, too. So yeah. it's like... Juliet yeah. Zulu's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready for Juliet Naked? Yeah. Ethan Hawke, Rose Brian, 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 Brian. How do you say that? Burn. I may Burn. look like a nice English lady in a sensible cardigan. But these days, it's a thin veneer, and it's starting to crack. Who wants to bring kids into this bloody world? My point like is, that. I just don't think that the that world needs good. more kids. I think we get it. Tucker Crow, one of the most unsung figures of alternative rock. Hasn't been seen in 20 years. That's him. Wow, he's so gorgeous. Thank you. I think I've had enough Tucker bloody Crow to last 20 lifetimes. Tucker has a new album, and I don't want to spend my time with someone who doesn't get it. Ah. Well, something new. Juliet Naked is a naked attempt to squeeze a few more quid out of a long dead career. You wrote this. It's the strangest thing. I met someone on the internet. You're finally entering the modern age. You read that review I posted. You nailed it. I couldn't have explained it better myself. Tucker Crow. Tucker Crow, as in Duncan's idol, Tucker yes. Crow. Yeah, it's really me. What's your story? Dear Tucker, it's really odd to be saying all this to a stranger, but I have a hunch I've wasted the last 15 years of my life. I don't imagine this is much of a consolation, but I'm ashamed to say that two decades have slipped through my fingers. At least you have a past to live up to. Big news, I'm coming to London. Would you like to meet for a drink? Waiting outside where you find your key. Beautiful spot. You're not downstairs, are you? That's me and my high school chess club. I can explain this. I'm not trying to trap you. Or cut your head off or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! How have you been? Duncan Thompson. Tucker Crow. I'm Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Just take it. Real mature, honey. <laughs> What are you drinking, Tucker Crow? Glass of water. I'm not getting a famous American rock star a glass of water. I'm not that famous, okay? And I'm an alcoholic. Well, you'll fit right in. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd be interested in me. Do you think there's any way back for me? You sure this doesn't have something to do with your idol coming along and fancying me? Please. How do we know that's even him? Well, I have a passport. Well, that would be super. But well, all of this seems to be in order. Really? Oh, thank God. What did you think of Juliet Naked? Not what you expected? <laughs> I had no idea what it was. <laughs> uh, it looks like it could be cute. Yeah, I think I, uh, I re I've, I've enjoyed Chris O'Dowd in everything I've seen him in. He's what else the, was he in? He was in, um, was it Bridesmaids? Did you see Bridesmaids? I did, but I don't remember He that. was the cop who was dating. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and he was in something else I just watched, but I can't remember what it is. Brock also never really got embarrassed like she did. His reputation as one of the baddest people on the planet still exists. She got exposed very badly in two fights. Yeah, she got her head kicked off into the bleachers, which was pretty bad. Also, her coach was saying that she could beat up Floyd Mayweather, and then 
doesn't know how to punch like very well like she could probably beat me up for sure but um <clears throat> but uh Juliet naked I think I think it looks it looks well done it looks fun the tone seems to be what I like the story of her the cheating layers is seem weird yeah not like not even um not even that she's cheating on her husband. I don't but, think they're married, right? Oh, are they not married? She said, I feel like I've wasted my last 15 years. I think she's just been with the same... Oh, okay. Maybe. Then that, that makes a little more sense, because the, the scene where Chris O'Dowd was saying, um, do I still have a chance, seemed like too soft of a reaction to her, whatever, hooking up with that that his idol yeah you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. the like i obviously i haven't seen the movie but it seems the layers to it seems weird how it's gonna all fit together yeah but uh it said it was produced by the people who did little miss sunshine which have you seen that mm-hmm. that's a good movie yeah it's great i love that's one of my favorites uh well i mean i guess it's a story arc i haven't seen before i just i don't know the setup seems weird yeah, I thought it seemed kind of weird that a celebrity messages her online, and she's like, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> how skeptical would you be if... I get celebrities messaging me yeah. online all the time, so not that skeptical. Yeah, you know, I agree, Max. I uh, It looks it looks well done, but it also looks perfect for Netflix. Like, yeah. I don't need to pay... Well, here in Thailand, it only costs like three bucks to see a movie, but... Yeah, it's, only yeah. it's 100 baht, 120 baht. To see a movie? Yeah. Hmm. Um, but if you're in Australia, which I believe Max is, I could be wrong, I don't know where you're from, Plague, but uh, if you're anywhere that charges closer to $10, that might be a little harder to swing. Yeah. So it would be cheaper for us to go out to the movies than it would be to rent a movie, rent a movie on, on iTunes? Yeah. Well, That's most depressing. We should go out more. <laughs> The problem is they don't have movies. <laughs> we only get you don't have a babysitter. <laughs> <coughs> that too. We only get one movie a week. All right. Got two more. 